Hello people, in this video, let us look at retinoblastoma pathology. So retinoblastoma RB, okay. So basically here uh, we are looking at pathology. So you know it is affecting retina. Blastoma means it is some primitive type of cells. So it is blast cells or primitive cells. So it will affect mainly children, right? So that is why the name blastoma involves primitive tissue. That is blastoma. So it's affecting the retina, retinoblastoma. It is a, uh, it, you can short form it as RB. It's a malignant condition, guys, uh, and it is an ocular tumor. That means something to do with the eye, intraocular tumor. Because it is blast, so definitely you can see it very easily in children. In children, uh, you can see this uh, below the age of four years, okay? It can even be congenital. Uh, a child at birth itself can have this. Now, this is 60% uh, sporadic, 40% familial. If it is familial, it is autosomal dominant. The RB gene is on chromosome 13, okay? So remember, it is a dominant condition. RB gene means retinoblastoma gene and uh, it is on chromosome 13, the unlucky number 13. Now, RB gene, now uh, what, what was, uh, it's a tumor suppressor, right? What is RB gene? RB gene is actually a good thing. It's a tumor suppressor. But this thing will get affected, so it will get mutated, some problem with this RB gene and uh, there will be a tumor now. That is malignant condition. This is cancer. Familial, uh, bilateral, bilateral, if it is familial, then it will be bilateral. If it is sporadic, only unilateral it will be. There is increased uh, risk of developing other tumors. That is, uh, these people not only will develop this retinoblastoma, if it's familial and they have a problem with RB gene, they can develop a lot of other carcinomas. You know, RB gene is a tumor suppressor and it can be uh, involved with a lot of other tumors. Here they are mentioning specifically osteogenic sarcoma. So what will be the clinical features? The person will have leukocoria, that is. But here the pupillary reflex would be white. You can see in this child how there is white pupillary reflex. So this part inside is white. Okay. So now look at uh, the other features of uh, retinoblastoma gross. So basically here in the gross you can see the tumor is uh, characteristically it appears as a white mass within the retina. Right. It is partly solid, partly necrotic. It is a white tumor. Right. The tumor may be endophytic. It protrudes uh, into the vitreous uh, or it can be exophytic when it protrudes between the retina and the pigment epithelium. So it can be either endophytic or exophytic. If it protrudes into the vitreous, endophytic. If it protrudes, if it grows between the retina and the pigment epithelium, it will be exophytic. Okay. There can be invasion to the, uh, into the optic nerve. Okay. So moving on to the microscopy now. So microscopic, uh, definitely you will write Homer, write rosettes. You have seen this so commonly in medulloblastoma, neuroblastoma. You have seen in so many other types of uh, same thing in retinoblastoma also. Same Homer, right rosettes you will see. Basically, it is composed of undifferentiated retinal cells, right? Uh, it has a tendency to form photoreceptor elements, okay? In uh, better differentiated areas, the tumor cells are characteristically, characteristically arranged as rosettes, okay? So the rosettes may be two types. Either way, you can have Flexner, Winter Steiner rosettes, okay, or you can have Homer Wright rosettes. So Homer Wright rosettes, that will have radical arrangement of tumor cells around the central neurofibrillar structure. So there will be two types of uh, rosettes: Flexner, Winter Steiner rosettes, and Homer Wright rosettes. And remember here, there will be same standard things that you write: necrosis, calcification, etc. Okay. Necrosis, calcification, okay. Then it can disseminate into many directions, into the vitreous, into the optic nerve, into the retina, even into the brain, it can disseminate. Remember, it arises from the retinal neurons, okay. So it arises from retinal neurons, okay. So that's all about retinoblastoma. Hope you have understood this. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.